Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. Doing something a little different today. I thought this might be uh, fun to try. I'm gonna be doing some um, little scribbles and designs in the corners of pages, just for fun, showing you some different ways to do it. It's a nice way to add little extra decorations that are personalized, that are easy to do. Some involve neurographic art. What is neurographic art? I can show you a quick picture. Mine, mine is not that great, but um, basically it's a, it's a squiggle colored in in different areas, in different ways that make you feel good. And it's very relaxing and it's very therapeutic and it's fun to do. And, um, but I thought we could take that concept and just minimize it along with doing some other styles in the corners of pages. So if you're doing a writing, I was thinking, do I have a writing journal that I'm half working on? I couldn't put my hand on one really fast. But uh, I thought we'd just play with the concept anyway. So we're just going to like open to some page, maybe, maybe here. And let's see if I can zoom in a little closer. Oh, that's really close. Okay, so we're looking at this upper left corner here. And I'm just going to start with something simple and basic. You're going to want to use a pen or a marker or a pencil or something that doesn't bleed through. Now I'm going to find out if this bleeds through. And I'm just going to start maybe from the corner. Oh, can you see from the corner and just build a little design? I, I don't know if this pen even writes. Let's, let's do our test first. Oh, it writes. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, and so I'm just gonna just gonna do some swirls. Oops, oh, not the best artist here, but um, maybe a heart there. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. It can be something very simple that really makes no sense to anybody but you. That's okay. That's okay. Um, just give it a go. And it just gives you a little corner, des corner design. And you can leave it like that. But I thought it might be fun to try and add a little bit of color to it. So I pulled out my a drawer of... What are these? Back up. This is my drawer of gelatos. You know, these kinds of things. With the, the waxy... They're like crayon lipsticks kind of thing. And I think that might be fun to try and use here. Ah! Oh, guess where they all ended up? <laughs> Sonny, are you all right? Yep, no, he's nowhere to be found. All right, hang on. Let me go clean this up before we eat something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I have retrieved everything, and it's now all mixed up. That's okay, though. Um, I forgot I had these, too, these Jane Davenport. Uh, little color palettes, which look like little makeup palettes. You can really use makeup, I think, in these situations. Um... But maybe we'll use some of these. And I thought to apply them, we could use Q-tips or we could use a little paintbrush. Oh, you're so far away. Let me bring it closer. We could use um, Q-tips or whoop, whoop, a little paintbrush or maybe a makeup applicator or your finger. Um, depends how delicately you want to or, or um, dexterously you want to get into the little tiny areas. Um, let me try this little pointy Q-tip and... See where you go. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. We'll, we'll try. Look at a nice little... This is still soft. That's good. I've got some pigment on here. It looks like lipstick to me. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, okay, it's, it's, not, it's not really a, an exact science here. Okay, that's not working so well. So we're going to abandon that. And this comes with a little... look. It looks like a makeup applicator to me. What do you think? Okay, let's try that. Maybe I can get into the corners better. Oh, maybe that's, that's a little better... Oh yeah, but much better. Can you see? So maybe a makeup applicator is the way to go here. I'm not too worried if I'm exactly in the lines because I'm never exactly in the lines, so I have to be okay with that. Um, there we go. <laughs> Just find your happy place when you're drawing. Okay, there we go. And maybe some green. This is nice. I like this a lot, actually. Why have I not been doing this? Because you didn't think about it, silly goose. Okay, let's do that. A little green going on these weird little leaves for the heart. You don't have to color in everything. You can color in some things. I'll color in all the leaves. What the heck? We're here. All right. Okay. Okay. So now we have something that looks like that in the corner. Let me just give you an idea of whoop, what that looks like on the page. I think I'm cross... Like these colors look a little like those colors. That's kind of pretty. Maybe I, maybe I could even do something down here just for fun. Why don't you make some room for yourself? You'd be so proud of me this morning. I, I actually... 
cleaned my desk. I took off the white paper, which had been really dirtified with all the inks and sprays and everything. And I just got rid of it. I have nothing there now. I'm a little worried about that. But um, I wiped everything down, dusted everything down. I was a good little crafty monkey this morning. All right, let me do something else here. I'm going to do a, a swirly. This is um, the very easy swirly scribble flower. It, it, you really can't mess this one up. It's just a little, I don't know, chrysanthemum or something. I don't know what it is. You, you make it whatever you want it to be. And uh, I'm just going to bring this baby down in the corner. Maybe give it some longer leaves. So you can have these little peak things. Maybe you're going to do a um, peak things. These little things that peek out in the corner. I oh, can't see. Uh, peek out in the, the corner of the page just for a little bit of an accent. Very easy to do. Very fun if you're practicing drawing, things like that. Maybe I'm going to use the same colors because I think that might look nice. Okay, here we go. And um, it's fun and it's very therapeutic, I think. Okay, using the other side, probably need to get more of these. or So I'm sure I have some of these floating around somewhere. Okay, and then you're colored in. There we go. Okay, very easy. Yeah? So, da 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 Da, 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 da. Minimal, minimal effort, maximum fun. All right, let's see what else we can do. Oh, okay, try not to knock everything off the desk. Um, maybe do one in the beginning more. Nothing there. Oh, maybe something here. Here's a nice little spot. We'll start. This is what, what kind of pen? It's a Sharpie pen in fine. Okay, and um, <laughs> I'm going to draw something in the corner. Maybe this has more structure. I could. There is a plant-like thing on here. I could go with, I could draw a little plant-like thing. Why don't I do that? Um, maybe I'll draw like a little, like a little viney thing coming out of the corner here. Uh, maybe little leaves coming off this little viney thing. Um, you know, that's like, I don't know, fantasy. Oh, that one didn't make sense. Fantasy art. Um, fantasy art because it's from the fantasy of my brain. It has no rhyme or reason. Um, it just is. Okay, these little weird leaves. All righty. Okay, I'm going to go a little closer for you. Yeah, that's dramatic. Okay, so here's my little color palette. Let's see if I can do something complimentary or contrasting since there are no rules, which is so much fun. All right, I think I'm going to, I have two sides. I have this side. See, that's used. That's used. That's a little used. And then I have that one. Okay, so I think I want to do like a copper. I think that would be kind of cool. I'm going for this little weird copper. Let's see what other colors are in here. What is this? Is that the same thing? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, what's going on here? We have some, we have some escapees. Escapees that have left the building. Get back in from whence you came. There you go. Pretend like you never left. All right. Maybe I should do... Okay, let's just stick with this one first. And we'll, we'll try. Just give it a little smooge. A little smooge rama there. Very nice. Very fun. Not getting a whole lot of pigment color. That's okay, though. Maybe I don't need a whole lot. It could be subtle. This is a subtle... Yeah, I'm being subtle. <laughs> That's what I was going for. And um, see, this is sort of, you know, neutral palette. You can't really, I know, I, I need to show you the whole page. And then maybe I want to do something with a little splash. There's a little bit of green in here. Maybe I did have a green going here. Let me work on the green, but it's like little green buds or something. Maybe they haven't turned ripe yet, or that's, a, or they're leaves. You're not little buds, they're little leaves. Hence the green. Okay. There we go. I mean, something as simple as that. It really doesn't have to be any more than that. You know, you can just stop there and do that. If you want to do more than that, you can do more than that. Like maybe, maybe you want to, maybe you want to do faux stitching here just because you thought of it at this moment in time and you had the pen easily accessible. Oh, my, my mic is working. Oh, did I test that? I don't remember testing it. Hello? I hope you can hear me. Um, I can just keep going and cross our fingers. Okay. And, um, okay. I'm going to come across the top. 
You can use a ruler. You can not use a ruler. Okay. It's a lumpy page, so... Okay, fine. I'll just give up on that one. Carry on. I'm just going to go over here. Oh, this is like the worst line ever. Okay, but there. I just have some basic faux stitching on there just to give it a little something. You know, you can do that. You can come around here too if you want. And uh, let's play. Let's do another. I haven't done the neurographic one yet. Um, oh, that might be a place. Maybe do something in the center here. All right, where's my pen of pens? We're, we're working with this one today. I just found it in my, my pencil drawer. So I would say these work really well. So for the smudging and the smooshing, maybe we're going to try the... Um, the Faber-Castell gelatos next to see if they work, if I can get pigment off there in a delicate manner. Okay. I have no idea. I'm just going to draw something. I just think I let my brain draw. Yeah, this is neurographic swirly woohoo ha ha's. There we go. I just end up there. Okay, that's like nobody in their right mind knows what that is at all. But I am the proud owner of that at this moment, so I'm going to do something with it. All right, so. Let us grab, what do we got? We are all neutrals here, so maybe we'll add some color. Hmm, let's try. Here's a pretty color, and that's a pretty color too. What is this color? This is gelato in watermelon. Faber-Castell gelato in watermelon. These are, what do they call them? Uh, some kind of sticks. I thought I read something. Design, memory, craft. Anyway, it's like a lipstick, but it's art pigment. Um, maybe I'll try a, a paintbrush this time. I don't know. Can I get enough pigment off here? Maybe. Yeah, that's not so good. Okay, maybe you need a stiffer brush. Um, or maybe you need one of these things again. All right, let's just try this. Maybe it'll work the same way. I just commingled. Oh yeah, that works much better. Yeah, get yourself some of these makeup applicators. That's the way to go. Then you can get in there and do this. Um, so I'm filling in the enclosed spaces. I don't know why I think that's just what I saw somewhere on a YouTube video and it looked fun. So here I am doing it in a book. So you can have a lot of little grand experiments for yourself in a junk journal book. It can be a place for you to try new techniques, new fun things new ways to play with your your goodies. You had to have all those goodies. You bought them. Let's use them. Okay, there's a little green in there. It must have been, oh, there, it's on the tip. That's okay. We'll go with that. Um, oh, maybe I'll just continue with the green here. That's all right that I went out of line. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's what I tell myself. All right, and um, I could actually follow the green line. Where's more green? Maybe I'm going to get this color. What is this? This is a gelato in gold champagne. That's similar to the green, not exact, but we'll just, I don't know, we'll get enough on here. We still seem to have a lot of the green. Some of the champagne is coming through. There we go. And now you could keep going and coloring all this in, which I might actually do. Well, no, maybe I want a different color on the inside. Could I do that? Or should I just color it all in? Maybe I should just, no, that's, that's looking weird now. Let me try something else. Retreat. Um... Okay, this could go very bad, but if it does, we'll just cover it up. What is this? This is... Nobody can read that. There's no name on here. It's simply that color, which looks very similar to what I've been using. So in the, an attempt to find something different, I'll dive back in here and pull something else out. How about that? Oh, oh this is different. This is a fig. Fig. I think it's like a light... Lavender. Okay, this is really going to probably go bad. Um, let me try a soft tip Q-tip. I haven't tried that yet. I don't know if I can get anything off here. So maybe these are dry, but they feel still waxy. Okay, let me just get a bunch on there so we can get anything going here. All right. Oh yeah, I know it seems, to, it seems to be a gray. I think it has morphed into a gray. Okay, maybe not what I was headed for, but it's a little black and white down there. Maybe we can roll with it. Let's see. Okay, but it doesn't take long to color an area in, right? Okay, so let's back up a little bit, see what on earth I created. So we have that, and we have that. You know, it's just, it's a weird little thing. It, it can be yours. If you don't like it, you can hide it. Um, but maybe I'm going to develop this little design a little bit more. Um, let's give him a little more 
pizzazz. Okay, maybe we'll do something over here. And just connect them together. Okay, now we have like a hairy beast. The hairy beast, I, I, it's like the, the sun cloud coming down on the flowers. Nobody knows really what any of this is. We're just going to go for it. Um, oh, okay, where was that watermelon? We've got a few more of these little circles to fill in. They fill in pretty fast. Like, I, I, I really think you could use lipstick or makeup for a lot of these things. Um, it might imprint a little bit over here, but you could seal it with an acrylic sealer or dust it with a cornstarch pad if you have one of those, or just put some cornstarch in a sock and just lightly dust over. I think that would help it dry. I'm pretty sure that the gelatos and the Davenports and all, I think they do dry over time, so you're not going to get too much crossover. Maybe a smidge, but nothing to write home about. Yeah. All right, so now I just need something to go on the lines. Maybe I should just draw it on the line. This is what, the champagne? What was this? This is the gold champagne. Okay, I'm just going to try and draw on the line. Oh, this is going to be bad. Pam is now going to attempt to draw on the line. Oh yeah, that was that was like not even close, right? Can we can we perform? That was bad. Okay, so we're gonna try and make it better. We could do a go again. I'm just gonna not think about it and just go where the line is. Don't think, don't think. Just go and be done. Now I'm gonna come and smudge at this point. Should I use my finger? Why not? Let's try that. That gives some heat to the wax. Let's see what this does. That's softening it a lot. I'm liking that. Yeah, you can kind of maneuver it. So you don't know until you're done what these things are going to look like. That gets a nice goldy. It's the gold champagne, right? So that's, we're getting some gold aroo here. Okay, kind of like that. Yeah, I could talk myself into liking that. Now we have that. Yeah, we, and we did not have that before. That was just born before your eyes. You too can have something that looks like that. <laughs> on your page. Um, I think it's kind of neat though. I do. I think it's kind of neat. I don't know. There's something tree-like about it that's... Okay, I'm going to do something weird. This is very weird. I'm going to... Okay. There. Now I have a tree. I know, right? Who was, nobody was expecting that, but we have a tree. Maybe I'll just leave it at that so they can journal all around here. Uh, do I want to put anything on it? I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm, let's see if we can get a better look. Yeah, so you can go there, or you can even keep drawing, or you leave it for something for them to do if you're giving the journal or selling the journal. I want to do a little something. I can't stop myself. Um, here I go. All right, I don't know what this was. Was it green? Brown? Give me something. Give me Jane Davenport. She seemed to be a willing participant today. Not a brown in sight. We'll take the green. Okay. Mm -hmm. There she goes, putting some color on it. And we're going down, just maybe on the sides. You don't have to color the whole thing. No, there's no rules. Remember that. Just keep doing what you're doing. Coming down the side. Oh, there's a big smudge roo. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, let's use the fingers, see if we can soften that a little bit. It's a waxy substance, so the heat of your hand will melt and move it. She's convincing herself of this as she tells the story. Okay, now we have that. Okay, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. All right, so we have that. Let's try something else. There's my neurographic tree. Yeah, we can, you can have a neurographic tree. Um, don't be sticking together on me. Okay. Maybe we'll do, maybe we're going to do another neurographic, but not in a swirly. We're going to do more of a structured design. Can you see? Okay, I got to look. No, you're way too far. Reposition you. Okay, there. Um, again, without rulers and just drawing some maybe sharp edged things. Don't know why. Just am. Oh, it looks like a man's shirt and a kite. It's weird, isn't it? Okay, so let's do that. And maybe this time we're not going to use gelatos. So we're not going to use Jane Davenport. We're going to use good old colored pencils. And do you think I can find my colored pencils? I have really expensive, very fancy schmancy 
colored pencils. And you know what I can locate on this day of days that I've looked around my craft room? This pile of stuff. Yeah, these like ones that didn't really fit into anything special. But it just goes to show you, you don't need the, the fancy stuff. Okay, what's this? This is blue. That might be nice. Okay, I'm just going to... Colored pencils are really handy because you can get... You can shade. You can go harder, lighter, more intense. Um, you can build the color. And you can also um, stay in the lines. Oh, you're so far away. You can stay in the lines so easily with a colored pencil, which a lot of these other little tools and things, bobs and all these doo-doo-doos, you can't. You can also use markers, but remember, we're trying to do things that don't bleed through on the back of the page. So I warned you it was going to be a weird day, but if you haven't thought about or, or considered doing anything like this, what color is that? Uh, no, it's broken. Um, here's a pink. Maybe we'll throw a pink in here. We'll make it a, a girl shirt. Um, it's something to think about, you know? Got colored pencils, got gelatos, got uh, neurographic fantasies of what you could do in your junk journal, got um, little corner ideas. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. It's going to be a got something. Um, I do like that. Maybe yellow. Oh, that would be good. Oh, this is some really old. <laughs> Apparently the Crayola pencils, colored pencils, are very good. They get very good reviews. So if you don't have a expensive pencils or you would like to play with a better quality pencil, look, there's really good pigment placement with this. Um, pigment intensity, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, high reviews. People seem to like them. And I would say, you know, if you're thinking about getting something and you're not sure how much you want to invest in fancy colored pencils, because you can get like, you have to mortgage a house to get some of them. Um, and really, to me, honestly, they sort of I mean, some are nicer than others, but yeah, they kind of all work the same, you know what I mean? You get a little color pigment down and you're good. Crayons work, you know what I mean? Your kids paint, but just make sure whatever it is doesn't bleed through. That's what you want to avoid, the bleed through. Okay, so I think I want a black, or I want, like, here, I got a black. Okay, kind of a rough end, but I want to intensify this. Make that more. Yeah, that's what I want. More of an edge. Rough edge. This is not a Stabilo. This is just a good old Crayola black. Oops, I can't draw a straight line for anything. Um, it's a colored pencil. That's it. It's just a colored pencil. That's all I have today. Okay, there we go. There's that. Let me show you what it looks like on the page. So we just we just have that. Yeah, so you can do little things like that, which are so easy and so fun. And... Um, so, I hope that gives you some fun ideas of what you can do. I can't find any of the other ones that I did. Where are they? Here they are. There's one. There's our little our little tree leaf thing. Or our little whatever that was, a viney hanging thing. Oh, Mr. Sunshine is right here, so maybe I should grab him. Um, Sunshine? He's asleep. Hang on. Let's see if I can get him. <clears throat> Sunny. Oh, hi. Do you want, are you ready for your pup date? Oh, I, I, it's sort of. I'm kind of sort of ready. I think I need a bath, Mom. I know, I know. We didn't do face wash. Okay, we'll get it today. We do, we, we'll, hi, everybody. It's sunshine. And I went for a walk this morning, and I got dirty feet. Yes, I got dirty puppy feet from my walk. It happens to the best of us. And we wash our feet after when Mom remembers. And um, Mom, no, her feet aren't so bad because she wears shoes. Um... But I will double check because <laughs> I like to lick her toes when she's not looking. Yes, yes, you do. And I'm going to have a little nap now because it's nap time. But in the meantime, I'm going to share with you that I have a friend coming over. Who is it? It's Baxter. <gasps> Baxter's coming over tomorrow and he's going to stay for the weekend and we're going to have the best time ever. Oh, we're so excited. And I am, I am going to share my treats and my pillow and my kibble and mom. Oh, I don't know if I can share, Mom. No, I might get a little jealous, but I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's good to make friends and learn how to share. With Baxter? Really? Yes, with Baxter. Baxter? Yes. <laughs> All right, son. I think it's time to go back to sleepies, okay? All right, Mom, I'm going back to sleepies now. Okay, good night, everybody. Or good day, everybody. Happy crafting.
All right, he will give us pup dates on the Baxter experience of it all, I am sure. So I hope you're having fun out there. Welcome everybody to who's new. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. The link is down below. You get all sorts of interesting freebies with that, like a free digital image every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and also a page list of ideas if you get stuck on the blank page. I have videos that come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, new audio material, and on the other days, it's a video podcast all over the place, so you can check those out on Spotify. And um, what else? I have an Etsy shop where you can find printables, uh, which I call DigiKits. They're printable download computer files, um, themed, like birds and Victorian and dragonfly and butterfly and all these things. There's over 200 now. Uh, go check them out. You might find something fun to put in your junk journals. They make great pockets and tucks and belly bands and, and journal cards and fun things. I can't find anything that we made today. Um, what else? Um, I have an am oh I have I sell fundals which are collections of old and interesting paper hundred plus pieces antique ledger checks postcards receipts fun things like that and um, yep can't find one darn of, oh, oh no okay yep there we go the neurographic tree uh, for every for all it, in its glory um, you'll probably do better than I did on that okay um, what else I have um, print and mail if you don't like to print um, uh, with your printer. Uh, or you don't have a printer, I will print 10 digikits for you. That gives you 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. All you do is send me your list of the names of the digikits. I only need the first two or three words. And you send it to Pam. You, uh, well, you can send it through Etsy, which is probably the easiest way, Etsy message or Etsy contact. Or you can email me your list to pam at thepaperoutpost.com. Both are fine. And um, I will print those out and mail those to you. And that includes free priority mail shipping. And what else? What else? Um... You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug tote or water bottle. And remember most of all that fun can be simple. Like today was very simple. And um, create with reckless abandon. And we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.